<laughs> oh man, what have you been playing? <laughs> <laughs> the order. Oh, I mean, yeah. I haven't been playing the order. Oh god, I, I almost had the, to, the order. Almost had to leave the room. Um, uh, yeah, the order. Yeah, it was a weird, uh, weirdly timed release because we had it in here. I guess it was the like the Friday ish, Thursday or Friday, right before the week came out. Yeah, but then it didn't actually come out until Friday. Yeah, so we yeah. missed it on last week's podcast. Yeah, and then it came out even though the, you had already finished it at that point. Right. Yeah, it did not take long. Uh, yeah, the, then the reviews hit Thursday, so reviews were up. You know, before the game was out. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. The order. The 18, order. They, 1886. 1886. It's an alternate historical take on 1886 and King Arthur's knights, where they are kind of brought forward. You know, like like uh, they are, uh, you know, able to live beyond normal man's lifespans, blah blah blah, and you know, you end up with a them, you know, you end up with knights with guns, kind of, um, which is like an interesting premise. And then they're fighting werewolves, which is a less interesting premise. Werewolves mm-hmm. still a threat. And then the werewolves are called lichens, which is not necessarily a common term, but Underworld used it. So it's like, like, did they just watch Underworld and go like, nah, we'll call them lichens too? Like, I, I don't understand that part of it. Yeah, I've only seen like Castlevania use lichen. Like, is there a difference well, like between lichens and werewolves? Well, it's, it's, you know, it's a, well, like, it, like lycanthropy is yeah. the term for it's werewolves. The actual it's, it's the, okay. condition. Yeah. Um, but you're right. I think that's, that's specific. The, the medical condition. term. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Um, but the, yeah, like shortening it, it to lichens that specific is not something term. that happens in fiction. Right. All the time. I mean, and it's not to say it hasn't ever appeared anywhere else other than those two things, but... I mean, I think they used it in the title of one of the Underworld movies, right? Yeah, I mean, if you go Google Lichens, you get a bunch of Underworld yes, pages. that is absolutely true. Um, so I thought that was a little strange. Anyway, that that doesn't matter. Um, it's what, a third-person cover-based shooter. It's like a Gears matter. of War style game. Yes. Um, you know, weapon selection on the D-pad, switch to grenades on the D-pad. All Cover-based kind of shooter. Uh, yeah, ah, yeah, come on. Yeah, like, it, it's, it's that kind of game. Um... Set even... in, in 1886, where Nikola Tesla is providing knights with uh, guns that shoot lightning. Yeah, yeah, all kinds of gadgets. Um, They've got little shoulder-mounted radios. Yep, yep. Which means you can radios, yeah. do some good walk oh, and talk. Yeah, a little bit of W and T. Yeah. A little bit of walk and talk. Way there. more walk than talk. Though. Yes, yeah, that um, is for sure. Which it does sometimes, even when you're not like actively talking to someone on the radio. It's just big chunks of that game are like, yeah, you got to walk slow through this building. Right. Yeah, you're looking for something. It's like, no, I'm, I'm kind of not. Yeah. Like, no, no, you're looking for something. So, I've, like, okay, so I've, yeah. I've, I've noticed, I don't know if you've tried this, but in even in the sequences where they force the walking speed down to the lowest level, you can still click the stick to jog. You can do, yeah, yeah. a little yeah. jog. Uh, but it won't go. But it's not a full-on run. It's not a full-on run. Yeah, yeah, once there's an enemy in the area, if you hit that, you are sprinting full speed. Yeah. But, yeah, you can never go a decent speed. Yeah, otherwise. so it seems like, you know, like they're trying to make this atmospheric game. Like, you know, it kind of, they show their cards right out of the gate. The whole game is letterboxed. Um, Literally. In, yeah, like, not even the, the settings, menus, everything. Setting screen, yeah, yeah. the title screen, nothing. Yeah. Uh, so, so the whole thing is presented in kind of a, a wider than widescreen cinematic. Uh, I I assume it's 2.35 two <laughs> to 1 I, I, cinema scope. But I don't know. I couldn't Maybe. tell you for sure. 70 if, mil IMAX? I think. Yeah. I, guess. I couldn't tell you for sure if that's the actual. No, only only Chapter 3 was shot on IMAX. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and I don't think the game, like, like for starters, like, I don't think the game takes advantage of, like, I don't think the game is cinematic enough to warrant that approach. Uh, and it generally seems like they're just kind of cutting off parts of the action. And, like, you know, like, cynically, you think, like, well, they're probably doing that to keep performance up or something so they don't have to render as much or, you know, what, whatever it ends up being. It just, I, I found the, the letterboxing to actually get in the way uh, of the action. And it, it not at any, like, benefit to the look of the game it doesn't look cinematic it just looks like oh i see less of my legs than i feel like maybe i should be able to see sure or the action feels slightly more claustrophobic here than it but probably there's all should that or... dust in the air that's right well yeah. you know i mean you yeah. can you can see how it would come in handy in in the cutscenes where they chose how to frame what was yeah. being presented within yeah. the, within the aspect ratio but you're right like the argument about like oh they're trying to make it more cinematic completely breaks down when you have free control of the camera yeah and I don't even know that the cutscenes are. I mean, it's a it's a great looking game. It is. Like, I think it is. The, the character models look fantastic. The I, the environments are really detailed in in a nice way. The but one the one thing I can say confidently about the order is that I wish more games looked that good. Yeah. yeah. But but that's, it, that's it. not enough. Um, it's a short game. It took me probably about six hours to get through it, which, you know, that's not necessarily too long, too short, I guess. But it's that there's nothing else to the game to do. 
uh, and no real reason to go back and play it a second time. It's not like uh, it's not like it's a co-op game. It's not like it has alternate branching paths for you to go back and see. It doesn't sound like you'd like it better if it was 20 hours. No, no, no definitely. It does not have 20 hours of mechanics. I mean, in its, in its six hours, it repeats mechanics that were not great the first time. So That was the thing I was sitting there thinking as the hubbub about the game's length was going on about mm-hmm. a week ago at this time. That's such a black and white. Where I was like, I was like, based on everything I've heard from the people who have actually finished this game, like they didn't want it to be longer. Like the length is not no. the problem; yeah. it's more the content. Yeah, you know, it, it's again like they're going for the cinematic approach, but there's not that much story in it, and what is there is kind of bland. Uh, there's like an interesting premise, like the setup. I think is kind of cool uh, of this whole like you know, oh, they're the you know the Her Majesty's Order, the the Knights of the Round Table, yeah. all this stuff like harking back to King Arthur, but sure. brought into this weird almost steampunkish uh alternate alternate past yeah. like there's there's something to that yeah. and i've i've um, gotten deep in enough that like you know i've even seen a little bit of like politicking within the order yeah or kind of disagreement yeah. you know like some of that stuff seemed like it could be promising but it's so slow to get started and it doesn't finish in a satisfying way that's probably the the most damning thing i would say about it is like you know if if, if it was like a game where they focused on the story over gameplay you could disagree with it, but you're like, oh, okay, well, I mean, that's a valid approach. But they don't nail the story either. You know, like the gameplay is pretty drab. It's, you know, third person cover based shooting intermingled with some quick time event style action. Uh, you know, a- act- action. Um, <laughs> but that right there on its own does not dissuade me from. Yeah, it, it's that it's. It, it, I liked Gears of War. It kind of does. Sure. It kind of does like me, though. Well, I think, I think Gears of War does all of that action better. Yes. Okay. Like, think um, about like I don't I don't want to turn this into just like here's the bullet points that a game of this type needs to have, but like think about what kind of package Gears was by the time three rolled around. You're like, right. Think about it, how it, much it, was in that. It doesn't thing. necessarily. You know, but I, my point is that no one aspect of the order is done well enough to like hit all of its marks. You know the the story is not there. The gameplay is not fully there. The you know the the length of it's not there. The the value proposition is a little questionable based on you know kind of just it not having any additional modes. Right. Um, and like, I think what I'm saying is that none of those individual parts make me say like, well, then I'm not playing it. But added together, the fact that you say this is a yeah. boring game, that is what makes me never totally. Play this. Yeah, and that's the thing is you know like the, there's the story kind of deals in like info dumps to a certain extent. Like you know at the oh, at the opening of the game you don't really know exactly the nature of your order and what kind of what's going on or, or even what you're really fighting. Uh, my understanding, the only reason I feel comfortable talking about werewolves at all is that I understand that they've been prominently featured in kind of the pre-release stuff. Hmm. Um, but you know at the outset of the game you don't really actually know that even that's there. Well, you talk about the. Uh the info dump stuff, and there are entire chapters to where, I don't know, it's probably considered spoilery if I say how many chapters there are. Is I, I, I get, eh. like, you know, okay, there's, 15-ish, I don't there's, know, whatever There's whatever 16 is. chapters, yeah. and, like, there are at least two or three, I want to say, where there's, like, literally no gameplay. Because when I first saw 16 chapters, I was like, all right, that seems lengthy-ish, if those are of even moderate length. But then there's some where it's like, Oh, chapter 11 or whatever is just a 10-minute cutscene. It's literally just a cutscene. Like, yeah. when you say literally no yeah. gameplay, you, don't, you, don't, even, move or you don't even move a character forward? Yeah, you see a couple interactions between some characters, and then it's like chapter 12 or whatever. Huh. Man, that's rough. Because I even thought there was there was very little to do in the first couple of chapters that is, I, is, is as far as I've played, because, man, that and thing ma- is And just... maybe, I mean, you know, the, the that game needed another hour or two on it, or to be more efficient with its storytelling, uh, because... It doesn't end in a, like, it ends at what I feel like is somewhere around the end of Act 2 of its story. And it leaves behind, like, a hanging thread, but not one that's, like, so compelling or deep enough that you're like, oh, clearly they'll make a sequel to go after this thing. No, it's more like, why wasn't there just one more hour of, like, we're going to go stamp this out and then maybe maybe reveal something that that hangs people on for, for another game or something like that. Like, it just stops hmm. um and even in the uh like gameplay sections it's so restrictive as far as like, you bring up like gears of war and gears of war at least you could kind of attack things the way you want to attack things in gears of war sure. you can use different guns and stuff and you can pick up different guns on the battlefield here but there are very obvious segments where it's like this is the segment where you should use this gun this is the segment where you have to sneak around and if anyone sees you you're immediately dead it just feels like it's this yeah, guided it does, it does tour have of like instant fail stealth yeah, yeah. you know and oh, and boy. like it just you know if you're spotted by a guard it, it cuts to 
a close up shot of your character's head and then you get shot in the face yeah. and then it just goes black and resets. Cool. And it's like it just feels so out of time like this weird like how did this game make it out in 2015 yeah. with like that mechanic in it. Like it, it it's it's I say in the review like it it just feels like the, the game feels like it came out of some alternate historical world of where, its own. <laughs> where laserdisc games were somehow like revered and continued on. Right. You know, it's like this just conceptually really strange thing to have in this game. Yeah, that's kind of the primary thought that I've had from everything I've like the little I've played and everything I've heard about the game is that it feels very much rooted in like the ideals of the last generation of consoles, which were you know it was kind of the first generation where the like the super cinematic, really nice looking game kind of came to prominence, you know, like when the graphics got good enough that you could get away largely on like experience or whatever you want to call sure, it. Sure, you know? but I but yeah, but, but I, I, I feel guess, like I feel but, like the industry has moved on from that. Like yeah, I don't feel the experience of playing this is is up to par. Like it it, it feels lackluster compared to its contemporaries. It feels lackluster compared to the big games of its type from the past generation of consoles. Like it just doesn't hold up, right? Uh, by any of those metrics. But even like, if it did, the only thing you can say about it is. Well, parts of it look really great. Right. Yeah. But even if they were really successful at what they were trying to do, like, would that be enough? I don't think so. In this day and age? You know, at least you could say, like, hey, you know, they went for something and they nailed that. Like, it may not be what people want, but, you know, they, they made a complete thing. Oh, yeah. This just feels like they headed in that direction and couldn't get it done. Right. Um, for, for one reason or another, like, it just, nothing, no one part of it comes together well enough to be like, oh, well, I see what they were trying to do, and so right. it's just, like, this weird mess. I don't know, yeah, it just, it, it kind of exists off to the side to me in this world where everything else is trickling down from, like, Minecraft and Skyrim, right? Right, Like, yeah, everything sure. else is big, dynamic, robust, like, procedural, you know? There's, mm -hmm. a, like, everything else is about creating these big, repeatable, like, interesting, dynamic experiences, and, like, here's this kind of, like, artifact from... Sure, six yeah. or seven years oh. ago that is literally just you walking in a straight line shooting everything in your path yeah i'll give you that until you're know, done man. like i don't think that that's damning on, on in and of itself like yeah. i think there's plenty of room for that style of game that doesn't have to be all emergent and all fucking i'm gonna build my own way or you know yeah, like, yeah just like, I'm, I'm waiting for style of game yeah like, but i'm waiting it's for like a call of duty campaign without the other modes that make you care enough about a call of duty game i guess so. it, i feel know? i feel like even even call of duty i feel like is is more interesting to play oh, than, yeah. than what i've seen of this yeah any campaign in call of like the shooting in this is so by the numbers from from what well, I've played. It's of it. it's another game where they make pistols. I mean, you know, headshots are really powerful and pistols are really accurate, or or specifically like most like two of the three pistols you get are. You know, so it's it's another one of those games that I felt like I was just shooting my way through it, one shot at a time, one headshot at a time. Well, uh, and you get that like Red Dead uh, aiming thing where you can press a button when a meter is filled up, and you just kind of like move the stick to point of the guy and just keep shooting him until he's dead. So I feel like right. that mechanic was terrible in yeah, this game. Like yeah. it, it never really seemed useful. It always felt like, am I even hitting? Like what's you know? It, it never felt like I was like some fucking super badass. It's not like strangle hit it. Yeah, no, it's not like strangle. Well, yeah, I mean, even to put it in the context of, of games where the core gameplay, like what you're doing, is inherently valuable. There's stuff like Halo out there where the combat is where the value is. You know, it's like. Sure playing the combat is in itself very interesting and rewarding, whereas in this, it's like it's largely just a glorified kind of shooting gallery, and then you move on to the next cutscene. Yeah, I mean, the most dangerous thing you face in, in the Order is a man with a shotgun, uh, because they tend to wear armor, and they flank you, and the shotguns do a lot of damage, so it's what just... What about the werewolves? Uh, those, they're, they're dicks. They're, they're, I mean, they're... I, yeah, they're no, I, I fought werewolves, that's kind of a rhetorical question, but it's like... They run at you and you shoot them, right. and then you olay your way out of them with a button press. Right. Like, you, you roll away from them when they get close, and, and then, then you then go just shoot them. And, and then do a canned animation over their yeah, body to stab yeah, them to death. Like a yeah. canned execution thing, uh, you know, like, they're... You face those things like two or three times over the course of the game. It's Wait, not, and you don't face them alone really? with other humans. Yeah. It's always like that. There's that first time you face them, it's like you're in a box, and yeah. there are three of them. That's how it is every time. Yeah. Wow. Also, that's really early on. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do the same exact scene basically near the end. Yeah. It's just there's three of them in a room. And there's like a bigger kind of boss fight mechanic where you're sort of moving, <laughs> but it's kind of a quick time event, and that's repeated again later on. Um, and that's not fun the first time either. And you're like, why would you hang your entire game on this mechanic? It's not fun. It's like like repeating it doesn't make it better. You know, it's it's just one of those things. Like this was a. It, there are so many. There are a lot of bad ideas being executed in the order with like some level of prowess, which leads you to wonder like, is was this the plan all along, or did it's like 
you run out of time and have to go like, well, we're going to have to, you know, make the second boss fight exactly like the first one, I guess, because that's, that's what the time we got. I, I just, it, it's really crazy that this game exists in the form that it exists in because it's nuts. It, it just, you know, it, it's so repetitive. Um, and, and that's the thing that, you know, one of the, one of the other things that really stands out is, is just top to bottom, man. Good voice acting looks really nice, but yep. everything about the way you play it, it's kind of drab. Um, you know, anything you do when you're, you know, the, the shooting is fine. Yeah. yeah, There's nothing broken about the game. I mean, everything works and everything (laughs) looks good, but it's just for how little it's trying to do. I would hope that it's, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. I at no point in the five or six hours had any fun with it at all. Did you finish it too? Yeah, I beat it. It's, it's not a good game. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Interesting, interesting, like premise and setting, you know, like that first reveal trailer that, when did they, God, when did they show that? That was a, was that a VGA a couple, couple years ago? It might have been, yeah. Maybe, maybe. it's been a while. It does feel like it's been. I I know I I agree with uh, Jeff. We've talked about this about how when they first started showing stuff like that thermite gun and everything. Yeah, like for the first time they had it playable was, was, I guess it was E3 last year, like right before E3. I played, it's the, it's the sequence of the game where you get the thermite gun for the first time. Yeah, I played that too. Of, of two times, I think. Yeah, fact. um, and you go like, oh, this isn't like it's my first. I pick up the I pick up the controller. It's my first time playing the game. Like that little sequence up to the cutscene where you use the thermite to burn through the mm-hmm. little fucking thing and walk through that door. Like that's the playable chunk that they had. Um, and maybe went a little bit past that, but not not too much further. Um, it did actually. Yes, it went a little bit past that. And you're like, oh, this thermite gun is really crazy. Like you're shooting dust at people, and then and then following up with these flares that ignite the dust. Like it's like a fucking ratchet and clank gun yeah. in this super realistic world. It's like this really weird gun. That'd be cool, you know. Like give me a bunch of weird guns. That's one of two weird guns, right? Because because you know your your assumption in that context at a trade show is like, well, if this is what they're choosing to show me now, like imagine mm-hmm. what they're holding back. But yeah, it well, turns out they're what they're holding back is like a lightning gun that you have to charge up to shoot. That is no fun to shoot. <laughs> And, you know, standard pistols, machine gun, shotgun stuff that, you know, is, is not great. Yeah. All, all with no upgrades whatsoever. It's not, again, I was totally hoping for Ratchet and Clank in that setting where it's like a bunch of crazy guns with a bunch of crazy, like, upgrades and stuff. No, there, there's two kind of weird guns. One of them really shoot lightning sucks. lightning bullets or lightning crossbow bolts? Do you want it to chain together <sighs> on enemies or you want it to be an AOE? Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'd like it if I had a little more stuff like that. But yeah, the, the arc lightning gun sucks. Uh, I do like the thermite gun, but you get it twice, and you can't upgrade anything. There's one stationary sequence where you get a like a rocket launcher with infinite ammo. Yeah. Um. And there's one. And there's like, like a lock rocket launcher type thing that you, you that a couple of guys drop that I've never found useful. There's a machine gun where you can like shoot air into someone's face and it disorients them for a second, yep. and you yeah, can kill yeah. them. But again, it's just. Man, none of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It sounds like the the problems with this game are more fundamental than just yeah. a lack of variety in the weapons. Yeah, anybody who goes through that game, I, I can't imagine how they would say that if it was a 20-hour game, it'd be better. Like, it's just a bad game, no matter how long it is. Yeah, it's odd. It's, it's an yeah. odd release to me in 2015. 20-minute 20 E3 demo. Uh, <laughs> good for that. Yeah. Where, you yeah. know, like, just thinking about all the games that are the biggest games these days. Sure. Like, the industry has largely moved on from this kind of, like... Thrill ride, like theme park, roller coaster type cinematic thing. Like I, I think it, it. I think that not quite. Maybe is like yeah. Sure, just, but, I'm just but I, maybe I, not. I struggle to think of any other like real big marquee releases well, like this of like, this nature well, think, that know, are like, in like, development well, right now. I mean, like for better or worse. Like I don't think those games are always great or those campaigns are. But like you know, Call of Duty campaigns are very much that kind of like plow through this thing full of set pieces. Like Battlefield campaigns are very much that. Well, ag- again though, like. How can I put this? I mean, like un- by, by lacking yeah. by lacking all of the peripheral features that those other games have, like sure. this game is basically making this confident statement that like, hey, our thrill ride is what's worth right. showing up. Totally, for. and it's not like but, those yeah, games. Yes. Those games yeah. acknowledge like we need a bunch of other modes to keep you know, this yeah, game like industry it's, it's, interesting. It's, it's, at some point, like you know, like it, it transcends price, and you're like, is this thing worth your time? Right. And right. It's like I, like my answer at that point is like is still just like no, right. not. I mean, there's nothing there's nothing so crazy here that you absolutely must see it. It's not. Because I mean, you know, we're, let's let's be honest with ourselves. We're still like, by and large, we're in a world where video game writing is not up to par with other forms of fiction. Sure. Like, I struggle to think of a single video game story that in itself is the reason to play a game. Well, I mean, you, you talk about these other modes and everything, and <clears throat> let's take like Uncharted and uh, the newest Tomb Raider, for example. Like, they had other modes, but I never touched multiplayer really in Uncharted or Tomb Raider. Just those. Pretty linear campaigns. I thought that was worth it for that kind of thrill ride. I thought they did that well, and they even have their occasional, you know, QTE or whatever. But 
they were interesting. The yeah, gameplay was more fun. Well, that's the thing. I think like like those games are games where you can make a case that that the combat that the you know there are more options in what you're doing. Because I mean, again, they, they take place in a larger world. I think you know, like the the combat and like the the action and combat in that most recent Tomb Raider. Like, yeah, it was a linear path through the story, but you felt it felt more open. Yes, it, it, not only not only that, because there were areas that were much more kind of rounded, and you could yeah. sneak around if you wanted and stuff like that. But they also broke up the action. Like, I think they were, I think they were way too heavy on the Uncharted and not enough tomb raiding in that game. But at least right, there right. were some tombs to raid. You know, yeah, like yeah. there were interludes where you weren't fighting people; you were you know kind of picking your way through some yeah. cavern or like you know you were moving through a forest. Like there, there were other things to occupy you besides just. Like well, all I've seen in this game uh, are literal shooting galleries where the level design isn't even such that you could like flank enemies realistically if you wanted to. Yeah, no, like, it's it, literally it, just like get behind these five cover points that we laid down and pop off headshots until you can move on. Yep. And, and the idea of like a side thing in the order is like, oh, here's a room that's a little off the beaten path, which you know isn't even really that much, and you'll find a photograph and like an audio canister or something in it. Like that's it. Yeah. Is there yeah. Ever nothing any, to like, do? Pick up this, like, find three parts and put it in a machine. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. No, there's there's this whole mechanic in the game of like sometimes you'll see paperwork or something on a desk and you can pick it up and look at it, and they've rendered it in a, at a resolution where you can read the newspaper if you want, and that. Mm. But you don't, you know, <laughs> you don't like at, at no point are you needing to do any of that, and like so so every single thing you pick up. None of it is interesting in any way. Like some of the audio canister stuff, like you know, it's audio logs, and there's something there to that. But like in terms of just like, here's a photo, and you look at it, and like you can roll it around in your hand a little uh, bit, L.A. To, Noir style. Yeah, yeah, and yeah then totally like that. You can hit the button to flip it over, and there's never anything interesting on the back either. Right. Like there wasn't one thing where you like gain real insight Find into the anything about the yeah. Like every every uh, piece of paper you pick up has the prompt to flip it over, yeah. and then like two or three times I flipped the thing over, and it was just blank on the back. Yeah. It's like why is that option and there's, there? There's stuff where like you know like you are kind of forced to pick up some things sometimes, and it won't let you put it down yeah. until you've rolled it around in your hand for a while. That happened to me with and an you're just apple. Like, Fucking come on. Yeah, like, I, come on. I picked up an what apple. I, what are we doing here? Yeah, I had to roll around an apple in my hand for a while before it said, okay, you can hit circle if you don't want to look at the apple anymore. I was like, I think I'm done looking at the goddamn apple. <laughs> nice uh, looking objects, though. Yeah, Holy shit. sure, yeah, but fucking come on. Like I, I, can, spent, I can look at real objects if I want to look at objects. I spent, well, you know, at a certain point, you're. it's kind of academic, but uh, you, you're kind of... You could look at it from the angle of appreciating the amount of work that went into every single piece of the game. If it mattered, like, like, like you're right, yes, it doesn't. If it, if it was good enough to be like a thing that was great unto itself, then outstanding. That's, yeah. If it's stuff that like factors into the other parts of the game and enhances your enjoyment or the your depth of understanding about the other parts of the game, then that works as well. You're, you're absolutely but, right. Like I'm, you know, at a certain point, what I mean is that you're having to abstract out meaning that otherwise isn't there. You yeah. know, like I spent a bunch of time walking around Tesla's lab just looking at every piece of equipment on the table. Yeah, because like, like there are better looking doorknobs in that game than like some other entire games that are out on the platform. You know, like it's insane how much detail is in everything. Yeah, but to no end is what I'm saying. Right, like, it's yeah. in service of nothing. Yeah, uh, other than kind of establishing a world, but it just it, yeah, it, it doesn't even establish a world that well yeah. because the the premise the the story is not rich enough to back it up. Um. Yeah, so I mean, you know, there's a review of that on the site. Quick look if you want to see some of it in action, and, and you haven't yet. But it's, uh, it's a it's a strong strong disappointment. Yeah, it's a shame. But uh, I guess we'll have to see where they go from here. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, like where are we at with? And I don't even know who they is in this case. Ready at dawn, Sony, like console makers. I don't know. Like, what is a marquee console release in 2015? Well, you know, like what's what's announced out there that you know that we know is being worked on as a first party published game. I yeah, mean, you know, like there's Halo Five, uh, Halo Five, yeah, Uncharted Four, you know, Uncharted Four. I think is you know probably the 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 big one. Sure, um, or what, certainly one of the biggest. Uh, uh, Bloodborne. Yeah, like kind uh, of a different case since it's you know, uh, not quite a Souls game, but sort of trying to scratch that itch. Like right, it's kind of its own thing. Um, uh, you know, I guess we'll find out a lot more D three, but yeah, yeah. One well, we'll presume we'll see some more announcements uh, of games and stuff. But yeah, you're, you know, in terms of like big marquee things for 2015, it's like you, you assume Crackdown would be out. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Yeah, like that's such a weird, different thing. I, I mean, I guess I'm more kind of approaching this from like you know games that fit the Uncharted Halo mold right. of like AAA the stuff. big traditional marquee titles, not yeah. you know, hey, we made this big emergent thing or 
hey, we made this game that appeals to you know, you know, the people that like the Souls games. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of that's kind of the subtext when you're looking at how expensive the order must have been to make in terms of art. It's like there aren't many games that are like now that like the consoles are powerful enough to make games that look that good, but how many budgets are getting greenlit that allow for that? And if if that's the case, does the budget then chew up so much? Yeah, you know, does the do the visuals chew up so much of that budget that you can't make a great game to back it up? Like we don't, you know, we obviously don't know what the processes were behind this game, but I totally had that thought of like i mean you know it may not be an either or situation but Maybe, i totally yeah. thought of that you know i was playing that game and i was like is this the price we're going to pay for games that look this good they're like they're going to be this kind of single-minded about what they're doing yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know i hope not 